Hey guys, it's Marianne from Thrive and today I want to share a tip with you to help you protect your data in Excel. So if you're looking to prevent other people from accidentally or deliberately changing or moving or deleting the data in your sheet, you can lock the cells in the sheet and then you can actually protect it with a password as well. So I've got an example here today of some information that's come from a form submission, from form submissions, and you can see it's set up as a table, which is all fine. But what I want to do is I actually want to lock it down so that people can view it without actually editing it. So when we are looking at locking these down, there are a couple of things that you need to know um, for this video specifically. I am working on Microsoft Excel on the desktop and I am using a Mac. I have a business standard subscription, but if you have a personal subscription, you'll have access to this as well. And so from here, what we're doing is we're looking at wanting to protect the sheet overall. So what I want to do is make it so they can view it. I can share it with anybody I like as a link, but they won't be able to edit anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the review tab from your ribbon. We're going to the review menu and you've got these options here. You can protect a sheet or you can protect the whole workbook. And what that means is that when I'm working to if I go protect sheet, it's looking at all cells here are locked down, but they can be formatted as unlocked individually. So I can set a password and then you need to verify it. And what I can do is there are certain things that I can allow people to do regardless of whether it is locked or not. So I can let them select cells, which they can certainly do, and I might let them sort and I might let them use auto filter so that they can look at the data and work with it, but they can't actually edit anything. They can't do anything to do with the formatting. They can't change the layout, add things and delete things. And they also can't edit anything. So if I go OK, and you can see now this is changed to unprotect sheet, which means that if I wanted to, it's going to ask me for the password. So let's cancel out of that. I'm going to uh, close that one down. And I'm going to quit out of there. So I've completely shut it all down. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open Excel again and I'm going to open it up. So it's going to ask me, what do you want to open? Open this one. And you can see now I can select the cells. But if I wanted to type over this, I'll get an alert and it tells me that it's on a protected sheet and I need to unprotect it. So to do that again, we would go to review and unprotect and I would need to type in the password and if it's correct it will be fine if we go back in and lock it again and um, I try and type something here's what happens if I type in the wrong password it's just gonna it's not gonna let me do anything so this is a really handy tool if you are sharing content or sharing information with people who need to have a view uh, a view access, but you want to absolutely make sure they can't edit it. It's also a really great way if you want to share an Excel sheet with a client or a stakeholder or someone external, but you don't want them to be able to tamper with it, pop that password on, protect it, lock it down. And then what you, it means is that you can just share the file and you don't have to worry about creating copies or PDFing things so that the data is always up to date. Give it a go. Let me know how you go.